Trust me, there's just nothing good about hanging from a fall arrest lanyard. So here's how you could climb this Roan Tower without that thing ever getting deployed. And I'm going to switch over to something called positioning equipment. And you'll see this in the catalogs. There's fall arrest, there's positioning. This doesn't, this isn't a bungee cord. This is a static cord. It doesn't stretch. It's not meant to stretch. It's meant to go around something and, and position you. Now this is plenty strong to hold my weight. No matter what happens, this thing's not going to break. You can't break it. These hooks, all hooks used on climbing equipment, fall arrest or anything, you'll see that they have a double locking mechanism. And you got to push this, push this in and push this in to get it disconnected. It's not a single latch. It used to be years ago, but now everything has to be double latched. Anything you buy new is going to be compliant. Don't buy it used at the ham fest, though. You never know what you're getting. I would never buy used safety equipment, harness, lanyard, nothing. All right, so I'm going to climb this tower. I've done the inspections. I got my harness. I got my lanyard. And my hands are free. I'm not coming off here. Now, if you think about it, the way you're going to fall tower if you didn't have this the way you would fall off the tower is your hands are going to come free you're going to slip on the wet steel you're going to grab something you're going to grab some something that moves i don't know that's how you're going to fall you're not going to fall because your feet are going to come out of this tower i don't know how i would get both of my feet out of there i guess i could pick myself up pull them pull them out but why would i do that so if you think about it you really can't get your feet out, but your hands can come loose, but your feet can't. So when you're climbing a round tower with this type of a situation, you really can't come off. You're 100% tied off. You're always tied off to the structure of climbing. No exceptions, no free climbing. Now, as you climb this thing, you can use this equipment to climb it just like a uh, lineman going up a telephone pole. You just keep jumping it up. Now, the beauty about climbing a round tire with one of these things is every step, this is a lot easier on you, every step you can let go if you want, you're not coming loose. If you're climbing a round tire without this system and you're using the fall arrest, you have to constantly be holding on, moving it, holding on, moving it. That tires you out a lot more. On a big tower, commercial tower, or uh, some of the freestanding towers we have, this lanyard's not long enough to go around it. Other thing is when you climb, the strongest muscles in your body is right here. So you want to climb with your legs. Don't be stretching your arms and pulling yourself up with your arms. All that does is wear you out. You, you climb with your legs. It'll be a lot easier on you. Now we got a problem. This could be a guy wire coming off of this tower. It could be a boom for an antenna. It could be anything. I get up here, my lanyard won't clear that. There's two ways around that. First way, you could have a second one of these lanyards and you put the one on on top of it, disconnect the one below it. You're still attached 100% of the time. What I think is a little bit better way, because there's added benefits, is this seat hook. If you'll notice on this harness, I've got this seat. If you've never seen one of these, watch this. All right. I'm hanging by this seat harness. I'm sitting on this seat in the back of my harness. My legs are free, my arms are free, I'm hanging here. I am comfortable. This is like sitting in the easy chair. These things are worth their weight in gold. I recommend you spend the extra money, get the harness with the optional seat. It is optional. This does two things for you. One is, you can be on a tower 
all day with one of these. Your legs don't hurt, your back doesn't hurt. You can be up there just having a good time doing all your antenna work. If, you're, if you don't have one of these and you're using one of these uh, positioning lanyards, your legs, your back starts to ache. I've been on towers literally all day with one of these seat harnesses. I came down, felt fine. All right, back to our obstruction. 100% tie off. I am not going to be disconnected from this tower at any point. So either I have a second lanyard that goes around. I don't like to do that. I have a seat hook. So I'm going to drop that in. And this is not 5,000 pounds, but we're not talking fall arrest. We're talking la uh, positioning lanyard. 5,000 pounds by OSHA is required for attachment points on fall arrest if you read the rules. I'm not fall arresting, I'm positioning. So I'm hooked up on this now. I disconnect this lanyard. Go around above it. Hook it back up. Take this off. Keep going up. Simple as that. I was never free climbing. I was never disconnected. Coming down is the opposite. Now before I come down, let me tell you one other thing that I think is important. The rule I've always followed with this lanyard, and I've used this, used lanyards like this for years. I always go in the same direction. My positioning lanyard is always attached on this D-ring on this side. And I always take the free end, go around the tower, Hook it up over on my left side. Always. If I need to do something to get around the obstruction, I never ever disconnect this side. Even if it's more trouble, I disconnect this side. Muscle memory. Okay? Always repetitive motions. You do the same thing every time. I think if you start alternating, you're just subjecting yourself to more risk. Another thing is, as you can see, I have tool pouches and I normally have these fully loaded with tools and water bottle and a cell phone and sometimes you have a, a wrench or a bullpen sticking out of these. When you come around to hook on over here, this is my free end, come over and you go to hook on your D-ring, make sure you're actually hooking on your D-ring. Don't, you got to be careful you're not snapping onto a, a, a screwdriver sticking out of your tool belt. It can happen. Sca it, I did that one time by accident. I caught myself and scared the crap out of me because I could have died. So pay attention, especially when you've been working all day, especially when it's cold, especially when you don't feel good, especially when a thunderstorm's coming in. Take it all into account. Okay, I defy you to tell me how I'm going to fall through that method. If you do, you got the backup of the fall arrest equipment. We hope you've enjoyed our tower climbing safety video series. Now let's all be safe out there. Hope to hear you on the air soon. And remember, you can always check us out at www.dxengineering.com.